I don't understand why people have such aggressive, hateful generalizations about him. I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I get frustrated thinking if he looked differently, these comments wouldn't exist at all. I think. <laughs> I'm Pam, and this is Ted's story for GeoBeats. <laughs> he has a disproportionately <laughs> large head, floppy, velvet ears, big eyes that are always watching you. Can you get your head a little closer to me? Because I feel like we're like not really touching each other. He always looks like very inquisitive, figuring out what's going on. Alexa, Teddy is a good boy. No. We're very tight. We don't have to talk. I can look at him and know what he's up to. <laughs> he can probably look at me and anticipate what I'm going to do, too. <laughs> Cutie patootie. I have another dog. Her name's Lullaby. I adopted her nine years ago. She'd been returned to the rescue by another owner. I got her, and it was the coolest transition to see an animal that was just shut down. We got to explore all of the parks and the ocean and everything together. So she opened my heart to these animals. I started volunteering and then Ted and his sister showed up in a foster. I went and picked them up in a mall parking lot from another volunteer. <laughs> he was this big eyed little alien puppy staring at me. I felt overwhelmed by how adorable and how fragile and cute this little thing was. I fostered them for several weeks. And then obviously Ted never left. The week I officially adopted him, he started vomiting and he couldn't stop. He ended up having a bowel obstruction. I brought him to an ER vet. He was about three days all together and finally they just decided to do the surgery. He was so little and so young. And I remember when I was driving him to the vet, I was holding him in my arm and I was like, I plan on being your mom for a long time. We gotta get through this. I'm a nurse, so I'm used to healthcare, but they almost like give you a choice of what to do. The first x-rays and ER vet was probably six or seven hundred dollars the second one was over five or six thousand dollars when i'm like do what you need to do to make him okay he's not a possession he's a sentient being to me i guess that's why i've maintained a good credit score <laughs> i'm grateful that i was lucky enough to finance that and pay that off i was so excited when they carried him out he was such a little chicken nugget four or five pounds and he's fine you would never know <laughs> He's like 50 pounds pure muscle and super athletic. I mean, you said you were proficient in Excel. So I feel like somebody was dishonest. It's a responsibility when you like adopt an animal. Kisses. Thank you. They didn't choose you. They didn't ask to be in your life. You asked them to. Why is she so rude to you? What happened between you and Alexa? This creature's happiness and health, it all falls on me. He wakes up every morning excited to do stuff. Yeah, no, I like my hair like this better. Why do we have to sit like this? He still tries to sit in my lap. He learns things very quickly. I love this. But he's also one of the most sensitive souls I've met. He's scared of inanimate objects. Somebody was remodeling their house and had a toilet outside and he was terrified of it. Check it out. Yes. Thank you. I found another working dog that might be able to fill in for Ted. He doesn't like to let you down. We're gonna do the suck on thumbs right now. <laughs> I've only cried in front of him once. He saw the tears coming down. He was in my face removing every tear to the point where I started laughing. He just wants you to be happy. What's going on? What make it? He's just always involved. There you go. If I'm trying to fold blankets, he's helping me fold them. If I'm trying to make my bed, he's involved in the situation. Okay. I mean, let me see. That's really nice, Ted. You look great. His sister, when she got adopted, they did a DNA test. So I'm assuming Ted is the same. <laughs> On the DNA breakdown, it was 70% American Pit Bull Terrier, 24% American Staffordshire Terrier, and then 4% Dalmatian, which is really funny. I've noticed when his fur grows in, it's white. I don't know if that's his 4% Dalmatian coming in. Um, <laughs> I don't really understand why people just have a blanket generalization about how a certain breed is. You give your dog structure, you give your dog training, you give it a good environment, you set your dog up for success. I've gone through so much training and spent so much time with Ted because I feel like we have higher standards to live up to. Bringing out your natural kind of beauty here. I think it's my kind of duty to show how lovable and sweet and fun he is. We're not covering anything, we're accentuating things. I kiss his head 20 times a day. He's only been around for about a year and a half, but I don't know what life would be like without him now. Some items that will help you with Excel. Don't use many colors, okay? 
and avoid using more than two fonts. 